Okay, and welcome. Uh, before we start, we have a disclosure, and uh, please uh, remember there is a risk in the future trading. Uh, earlier, on the previous video we did today live, and uh, we called it that uh, there is no more trade long after we hit the target. So if you look at the video, the previous video, and now we're trying to continue with that, and showing you what happened after we called it off not to take a long trade. So after the lunch hour right now, we have 2.07 p.m. Eastern time, and uh, we'll see what happened. We had a new signal on the YM. Let's start with the ES on the market analyzer. We had an entry at 27.59.75 target, 27.47. So if we are looking at the entry from that automated, so here is your signal on the chart, and here is your target. The target on the ES was 43 ticks. If we are looking at the YM, we had the entry on the YM at um, 66, target 33 on the YM, we got it. And then we have the NASDAQ. Here is your NASDAQ. It was a beautiful trade on the NASDAQ, actually. It was a very nice, beautiful, long run. And then the CL today was not really good. The CL up and down all the time. And if we look at the CL chart, it's a kind of got stuck in those channel and there is not much happening on the CL. This is a base on one minute. And then we have the 30-year treasury bond. Right now is on zero because we just got a new signal, I think. After, no, it hit the target. And now we are pulled back all the way to the buy-in entry. I want to show you the euro dollar here. We had a very nice entry on the euro dollar. We hit the target, lost a couple takes. Then we have the reversal fired right after the target, this is a reversal, pull back to the re-entry point, and now is climbing to the resistance line at uh, 33.03. So this is a beautiful move uh, on uh, the euro today, and if we are looking, it was a very straight line to the support, a breaking out, we had a buy entry target right on line with everything, it is beautiful. And uh, now, um, also, so right now we have base on the last signal around 454, 465 ticks. And uh, this is uh, not a bad day at all. And this is just in the afternoon session. So on and on uh, today, actually, if you look at the, at the previous video for today, uh, we we had we had the same amount on the way up when the market was long. We nailed around 40 ticks on the ES, around over 100 ticks on the YM, and over 100 ticks on the Nasdaq. And it's the same story uh, today on the way down in the afternoon. We got practically almost the same ticks uh, as uh, we uh, had earlier session. So this is a really nice uh, little announcement uh, to uh, the uh, traders. We have uh, made on top this uh, auto trade on the uh, MT5. I don't have the MT5 open right now. Uh, we have uh, added a very nice feature, and uh, we will be showing you that feature within a couple, three days. Uh, we did something very nice uh, for that auto trade on the MT5. And uh, we will share it uh, the minute is, uh, the programmers are done with it. Uh, it was a beautiful day today. Actually, we have a new signal uh, on the euro dollar. You can see where is the new signal on the euro dollar. And look at this. This is a one minute chart. And most of the traders on the Forex, they use 240 minutes and one hour and 15 minutes. And look at this beauty. Now we are coming to the support line right there. And this is live right now. You can see uh, it 
is right now 12, 12 p.m. And look the beauty on those lines. Look. And this is a one minute, folks. One minute Forex. This is, this is serious uh, for one minute Forex because most of the traders on Forex, they use uh, 240 minutes, 15 minutes, and 30 minutes in order for them to aim anything in the market. And look where the market stopped. Right there. Beautiful. Okay, and if you notice right now, there is some sellers trying to push it, but look where the euro dollar, right there. And if we look at the new signal on the euro dollar, as we speak, we had this uh, new, uh, the target is right there in front of you, 13.06, you have 4.3, we are running based on 10,000 mini account. On the pullback re-entry, you have 23.39, uh, and it's right there, right here. This is, if it's any pullback, here is your re-entry, right there on the pullback. Because it is very important for the traders to figure out if it is a pullback or a change of direction in the market. So, again, this is live, right in front of you, and you can see... The accuracy, especially for our traders, those are your $35 zone. Is any any professional trader dream to have that accurate, folks? And look at this. Now the, the euro dollar. I'm gonna stay this uh, with this uh, video a little bit longer, so you can see. It's right online. And if you look at the previous uh, video and the previous video on uh, life, uh, you can see how accurate those lines, those are very important uh, in your trading. So, again, look at this. The euro dollar stopped exactly where we expected to be stopped. So there we go, it's finished. Now it's gonna go back trying to re retest this area right there. Beautiful. So right now we are 524. Uh, there is no more signals. I don't think so there is any more signals. We are done for today. It's 2.14. Uh, uh, we'll try uh, tomorrow. I'm not sure on Friday I will do that, but uh, we'll try on Friday to squeeze uh, lifetime. And um, uh, we wish you the best and see you another day. Bye for now.